Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Um, working our way. We actually might be at 20.8K subs right now, guys. So keep up the good work. You guys are doing great. Check out all my betting links in the description below. Really great promo, especially with BetMGM. Get up to 1500 in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't hit. So go ahead and take advantage of that in the description below, guys. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Big slate today to close out the weekend. Starting with the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 130. Arizona plus 110 with the over-under at 7.5. Arizona coming into this matchup 18-22. and 22. Baltimore 26-12. and 12. Pitching for Arizona is Zach Gallen with an ERA of 2.84. Pitching for Baltimore is Dean Kramer with an ERA of 3.57. Gallon, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. Kramer, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. Uh, Arizona back-to-back -back losses against Baltimore. Baltimore's look good in this series so far. Uh, they're playing well. Arizona 0 and 5 on the road against Baltimore. So they've really had their struggles against Baltimore. Uh, both pitchers coming off zero run games here, but Gallon, his games prior, giving up three and five runs here. Uh, not so great. Give me the Orioles at home. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Cubs opening up as road favorites at minus 115. Pirates minus 105 with the over under at eight and a half. Cubs coming into this matchup 23 and 17. The Pirates 18 and 22. Pitching for the Cubs is Kyle Hendricks with an ERA of 12.0. Pitching for the Pirates is Bailey Falter with an ERA of 4.34. Hendricks, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up four runs at five strikeouts. Falter, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs. Had three strikeouts. Uh, Cubs losing to the Pittsburgh yesterday 10-9. to That was kind of a crazy game. Um, you know, Cubs still 15-5 and against Pittsburgh. You know, they beat them in 7-2 to the game prior. Um, Falter definitely giving up some runs. Hendricks, man, he's given up a lot of runs here. He's given up 18 runs in his last three starts. Uh, he's just been abysmal on the mound here, and uh, I think I gotta take the Pirates plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Washington Nationals versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up as home favorites at minus 155. Washington plus 130 with the over under at seven and a half. Washington coming into this matchup 19 and 19. Austin 20 and 19. Pitching for Washington is Mackenzie Gore with an ERA of 3.44. Pitching for Boston is Brian Bello with an ERA of 3.04. Gore, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up two runs at four strikeouts. Bello, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs at seven strikeouts. Washington, uh, yeah, coming off a of Boston loss yesterday. Boston finally getting back in the win category. Uh, they really haven't played well. Um... Yeah, the pitching matchup, I don't know. It's pretty even, I'd say. Bello is coming off a zero-run game. Um, do we trust Boston to go back-to-back -back here? That's just kind of the question. Haven't been very reliable. Haven't won back-to-back -back games in weeks. I'll still take a shot with Washington, plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Twins versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Twins opening up as road favorites. At minus 125. Toronto plus 100 with the over under at 8.5. Twins coming into this matchup 23 and 16. Toronto 18 and 21. Pitching for the Twins is Bailey Ober with an ERA of 4.42. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Alec Manoa with an ERA of 13.50. Ober, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Uh, Manoa, his first start of the season, he gave up six runs. Uh, so rough start for Manoa. Uh, Minnesota losing a tough one yesterday, 10-8. to eight. Um, 
the, you know, they are five and two against Toronto, seven and one on the road. I just do not like Manoa on the mound. I mean, he, he got destroyed his first start. Yeah, give me the Twins on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Houston Astros versus the Detroit Tigers. Uh, looks like we got a... Eh, no, Houston's opening up a slight road favorites at minus 115. Detroit minus 105 with the over-under at 7.5. Houston coming into this matchup 14-25. and 25. Detroit 20-19. and 19. Pitching for the Astros is Justin Verlander with an ERA of 4.43. Pitching for Detroit is Jack Flaherty with an ERA of 3.86. Verlander, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up seven runs, had two strikeouts. Flaherty, his last start, he pitched five innings, or pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Uh, Houston losing to Detroit yesterday, eight to two. Houston, man, they just aren't reliable. They're very tough to bet on. Um, we just don't know what version of Houston we're going to get every single day because they've been good against Detroit, but... Um, yeah, they've just been disappointing. Verlander coming off a seven-run game, his worst game of the season here. Flaherty hasn't been horrible. And um, as the underdog at home, I think I'll take a shot with Detroit in this one. Next matchup, we got the New York Yankees versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Yankees opening up as road favorites at minus 140. Rays plus 115 with the O-runner at 8.5. Yankees coming into this matchup 26-15. The Rays 20 and 20. Pitching for the Yankees is Lewis Gill with an ERA of 2.92. Pitching for the Rays is Tyler Alexander with an ERA of 4.96. Gill, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had five strikeouts. Alexander, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. The Yankees uh, coming off a Tampa Bay loss yesterday, seven to two. Nice win for Tampa Bay. Um, you know, Alexander, has been, he's been okay on the mound. He's given up five in his last three. Uh, Gill's given up six. So I'd say a pretty even pitching matchup. Um, you know, the Yankees, I don't know. Usually after a loss, we've seen them get a win as of late. Haven't, they haven't had back-to-back -back losses in a while. And um, I'm going to follow the trend. I'm going to take the Yankees on the road. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Miami Marlins. Phillies opening up as road favorites at minus 260. Marlins plus 210 with the over-under at 7. Phillies coming into this matchup 28-12. and 12. The Marlins 10-31. and 31. Pitching for the Phillies is Zach Wheeler with an ERA of 1.64. Pitching for the Marlins is Braxton Garrett with an ERA of zero. Wheeler, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up zero runs. Had 11 strikeouts. Garrett, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up two runs. Had five strikeouts. He's actually making his first start of the season here today. Um, Phillies on a two-game winning streak. Back-to-back -back dominant wins against the Marlins. Eight to three and eight to two. Marlins on a five-game losing streak. Um, yeah, Zach Wheeler's been great on the mound for the Phillies here. Hard to bet against the Phillies right now. They're playing great. Going to roll with the Phillies on the road. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Guardians versus the Chicago White Sox. Cleveland opening up as road favorites at minus 170. The White Sox plus 140 with the over-under at 9. Cleveland coming into this matchup 24-16. The White Sox 12 and 28. Pitching for the Guardians is Logan Allen with an ERA of 6.41. Pitching for the White Sox is Michael Soraka with an ERA of 6.34. Allen, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up seven runs, had two strikeouts. Soraka, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. Cleveland. Don't know what's going on with Cleveland. Three straight losses against the White Sox here. They've just been disappointing as the favorite. White Sox on a four-game winning streak. Uh, Cleveland one and four against the White Sox. Yeah, uh, Logan Allen hasn't been good on the mound for the White Sox here. Yeah, I'm sorry, for the Guardians. Give me the White Sox plus one and a half at home today.
Next matchup, we got the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Cardinals plus 120 with the over under at eight and a half. Cardinals coming into this matchup 15 and 24. The Brewers 24 and 15. Pitching for the Cardinals is Miles Mikolas with an ERA of 6.43. Pitching for the Brewers is Bryce Wilson with an ERA of 2.40. Mikolas, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up six runs, had three strikeouts. Wilson, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. Uh, St. Louis, one and nine in their last ten, three straight losses against the Brewers. Uh, Brewers playing well. St. Louis, they're just playing absolutely horrible. 0-8 against the Brewers, 0-5 on the road against the Brewers here. Uh, Mikolas hasn't been good on the mound. Give me the Brewers at home. Next matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the Colorado Rockies. Rangers opening up as road favorites at minus 150. Rockies plus 120 with the over-under at 11. Rangers coming into this matchup 22 and 19. The Rockies 11 and 28. Pitching for the uh, Rangers is Jose Urena with an ERA of 3.86. Pitching for the Rockies is Ty Blatch with an ERA of 3.46. Urena, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Blatch, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had zero strikeouts. The Rangers, on a two-game losing streak, back-to-back uh, -back losses against the Rockies here. Uh, yeah, they just have not looked that great in this series so far. Um, one and seven on the road against the Rockies. Yeah, another team. It's just like, I don't know what's going on with the Rangers. Really aren't playing well. Blatch, though, he's given up. Gave up four runs in his first start here. Uh, Urana hasn't been like that amazing. Hard to trust the Rangers. They've just been such a disappointment as of late. Give me the Rockies plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Cincinnati Reds versus the San Francisco Giants. Giants opening up as home favorites at minus 125. The Reds plus 110 with the over-under at 7.5. Reds coming into this matchup 17 and 22. The Giants 18 and 23. Pitching for the Reds is Frankie Montaz with an ERA of 3.55. Pitching for the Giants is Kyle Harrison with an ERA of 3.20. Montaz, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run. Had seven strikeouts. Harrison, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up zero runs and two strikeouts. Uh, Cincinnati, one and nine in their last ten. Been a real struggle for the Reds. Uh, they have not played well. Um, losing yesterday. They're three and eight on the road. Yeah, Reds, they've just been very disappointing. Um, not much of a pitching advantage. I'd say Harrison's been the better of the two. I think I got to take the Giants at home with the Reds struggling. Next matchup, we got the Kansas City Royals versus the Los Angeles Angels. Royals opening up as road favorites at minus 130. Angels plus 110 with the over-under at 8. Royals coming into this matchup 24 and 17. The Angels 15 and 25. Pitching for the Royals is Seth Lugo with an ERA of 1.92. Pitching for the Angels is Patrick Sandoval with an ERA of 5.08. Lugo, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Sandoval, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up zero runs, had seven strikeouts. Uh, the Royals losing to the Angels yesterday, 9-3. to three. You know, Angels finally getting a win in this series after the Royals uh, getting two nice wins in the two games prior. Royals are 4-1 and one on the road. Um, Sandoval, you know, hasn't been that great on the mound for the Angels this season. I'm going to take the Royals on the road coming off a loss. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the San Diego Padres. Dodgers opening up as road favorites at minus 125. The Padres plus 110 with the over-under at 7.5. Dodgers coming into this matchup 27-14. The Padres 21 and 21.
Pitching for the Dodgers is Walker Bueller with an ERA of 6.75. Pitching for the Padres is Yu Darvish with an ERA of 2.94. Bueller, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. Darvish, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Um, Dodgers beating the Padres yesterday, 5-0. Nice win for the Dodgers after that loss to the game prior. Uh, they pitched a nice game. Um, they are 4-1 and one on the road against the Padres. Bueller, you know, gave up three runs in his first start. Didn't look that great, but, you know, we'll see how he adjusts here. Darvish coming off back-to-back -back zero-run games. He's been very solid. Um, I still like the Dodgers here. I mean, Padres, they got shut out yesterday. They had no offense whatsoever. I think Bueller can have a much better game than he did. And if he can, I think Dodgers will be fine. Give me Dodgers on the road. Next matchup, we got the Oakland Athletics versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home favorites at minus 240. Oakland plus 190 with the over under at seven and a half. Oakland coming into this matchup 19 and 22. Seattle 21 and 19. Pitching for Oakland is Alex Wood with an ERA of 5.30. Pitching for Seattle is Lewis Castillo with an ERA of 3.54. Wood, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had three strikeouts. Castillo, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. Uh, Oakland coming off a Seattle win. Big win yesterday for them, 8-1. to one. Um, Both teams winning 8-1 to one in back-to-back -back days. Uh, Oakland 3 and 11 on the road against Seattle. I mean, it was such a flip flop series. It's definitely hard to bet on when both teams win 8 to 1 like that. Um, Woods been good on the mound for Oakland here. Castillo, you know, coming off a three run game. Yeah, just a bad showing from Seattle last night. They could not do anything. I just don't know if I can trust the Mariners right now. Um, I think I'm going to take a shot with Oakland plus one and a half on the road. Then the last matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the New York Mets. Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 120. The Mets plus 110 with the over-under at 7.5. Braves coming into this matchup, 24-12. and 12. The Mets, 18-20. and 20. Pitching for the Braves is Bryce Elder with an ERA of 5.28. Pitching for the Mets is Luis Severino with an ERA of 3.60. Elder, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up seven runs, had four strikeouts. Severino, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up four runs, had six strikeouts. Atlanta on a four-game winning streak. Coming off back-to-back -back wins against the Mets. Mets haven't really been able to do anything offensively this series. Uh, Braves are five and one on the road against the Mets, where they've had a lot of success. Elder coming off that seven-run game, but he's had other great starts this season here. Severino... I mean, he's been very mid, given up three, one, four runs in his last three starts here. I don't know. I just don't like the Mets' offense. They just aren't really hitting the ball well. I mean, the Braves on the road. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.